So here we go. The year is coming to a close and it's time for 2023. And for those of you who think about video games and nothing but video games, guess what? There's some video games coming in 2023. Shocker, right? So as we prepare for the new year, I want to go over the most anticipated games by the people. Now, unfortunately, I can't put every game on this list. So if there's something I missed that you want to talk about, put it in the comments down below why you think it'll be going. And also, if you want to see more content related to video games in the future, subscribe to this channel. Now, kings and queens, let's go ahead and get started. Now to begin this list, we'll have to start with two honorable mentions because they've done this before. And because they have done this before, I don't see these two iterations being much different. So of course, I'm talking about Street Fighter 6 and Tekken 8. Now this is like you're picking Gochita and Vachito for me. It doesn't really matter which one you want to say is better or worse. We have seen countless of times that these games will be successful no matter what they do. Both of these franchises don't mind taking out characters or even reusing assets. If you think about it, Street Fighter would give Ryu a beard and suddenly he's a new character and people love it. But as you can guess, I love it too. That's why it's on this list. Majority of the old characters move sets and style will be the same. So the most you can hope for is a new character is going to shake up the meta. But when it comes to new mechanics such as focus attacks and rage arts, we'll just have to wait and see. Now to officially kick off this list, I'm going to have to give it to the Final Fantasy games. Now I already did this once, but I promise you this is the last time. I got two different games in the same spot and that's going to be Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth and Final Fantasy 16. For those of you who have fallen off of the Final Fantasy series, then you've kind of missed out on a lot. These aren't turn-based games anymore, and being real action feels a little bit more alive. Now, as you know, Final Fantasy VII did get its remake, and people were talking about it left and right. Now, whether it's good or bad, we all know that Final Fantasy VII is the most popular game in the series. And because they just put out Crisis Core with both Zack and Cloud, there's no way they're going to slow down now when they can put in more Sephiroth. But on the other hand, Final Fantasy XVI is the newest of the series. Now, coming off of 15 in the World of Noxus, I I really expect 16 in that medieval feel to get you in the mood. The characters seem a little bit older and it seems a little bit more story driven as well. So we'll see if Final Fantasy 7 Part 2 and Final Fantasy 16 is going to be worth that hype. Next on this list we have a game that can be either good or bad. Now I know this man made Solid Snake before and Solid Snake is that guy. But if you watched the Game Awards this year then you probably saw that Death Stranding is getting a Part 2. Or maybe I should just say it's Death Stranding 2. Regardless of what it is, these games are not anything similar to Metal Gear Solid. Now, I'm not the only one saying this, but whatever Kojima's on, he's on something different. And if you play the first Death Stranding games, I'll give it to him that it was good, but... I wanted more. However, since the trailer came out, people have been talking about this game all over the world. So I'm really expecting it to be that one. But to be honest, is Death Stranding anywhere close to Metal Gear? No, no way. But he did just start the series and I can't really tell you much more about this game except it's a story. So could it be a bust? Maybe, but we'll have to wait and see. Next on the list, we have Hogwarts Legacy. Now, even if you're not a fan of video games, you know Harry Potter's that guy. Everybody knows that one person has read every single Harry Potter book. When I say read, I mean they read it from the beginning to end to the end to back to the beginning but if you have never jumped into this series you may want to jump into the game while i hate to give games comparison the most similar thing to this is probably elden ring but with magic it seems you get to customize your own playable character and then go around the castle doing different missions and quests but the bigger part of the game is what the story is going to be like this game alone can bring a lot of harry potter fans into the gaming franchise and even if there are people that are not a fan of combat and action i know there's a few waiting just to get on a broom and fly around. Now while we did get a state of play to see some of the gameplay, we know we still want to see more. But don't be surprised if Hogwarts Legacy is not game of the year by 2023. Now, the runner-up here could also not be the runner-up because of how big of a character he is. I mean, this character is so important that Sony decided to buy the rights to this character themselves. Spider-Man 2 has been teased to have both Peter Parker and Miles Morales. And if you play Miles Morales, then you know that this upcoming game is going to be heat. For those of you who have never played a Spider-Man game, I'm sure you've seen all the movies where he swings around through a city. Now, if you can recall that, then you can imagine it's 15,000 times better doing it yourself. Heck, I argue the Spider-Man game Games might be the best superhero games out there currently. And what's more of a banger about Spider-Man 2 is Venom's gonna be in the game. And as we all know, Venom's so big that he got his own movie. Matter of fact, Venom got two movies. So it is safe to say because Sony has the rights to Spider-Man that they will not mess this up. But while I'm giving Spider-Man so much praise and it could be number one on this list, I 
still see number one a little bit higher right now. Finally, in the number one spot, we have Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Now listen, if you want to talk about tears, I haven't seen more tears since people have been whining and complaining about this game. Every Nintendo Direct, all I ever see in the comments are, Where is Legend of Zelda? Where is Breath of the Wild 2? I need more, 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 more. But I hate to justify it, however, they're kind of right. Breath of the Wild was one of the best Nintendo Switch games ever. So I'm not too surprised that people are dying for this game too. An open world RPG from Nintendo is a kid's haven. And of course, the company has fumbled the bag once or twice, but they're not out here fumbling the bag with Zelda. Some critics gave the original a perfect score saying nothing is wrong with the game. And you know everybody's expectations is to be the same. However, as the title hints, this game does feel like it's going to be a bit darker. But honestly, it's kind of cool. There's nothing wrong with having a more mature story. Besides, if you don't like it, you can skip it. There's plenty of action scenes and side quests you can indulge in instead. And like I said before, it would be a shocker to me if Nintendo does not do this right. Now tell me what am I missing on here that you would put on this list. There's plenty of games I went back and forth with, but this is a good cohesive list. So if there's anything else that you're dying to see, let me know in the comments below. And also Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays y'all. There's plenty of more content coming in 2023, so get ready for that. But for now, I do have to ask if you are a Digimon or a Pokemon fan, maybe you wanna go check this video out here. Y'all have a good one. Take care.